Hey, welcome back to the corner. Let's roll the theme song. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my corner. Woo! Welcome to my corner. Let's have a talk now. Uh -huh. From Miami to California. Yeah. Check your girl out. I'm gonna give it to you straight up. That's right. That's right. Keeping it real. No things inside. Let's go. Welcome to my corner, y'all. Okay, so welcome back to 29 Days of Christmas, week two. Um, I really hope y'all have been enjoying these. Um, I would like to say it's been kind of interesting to make and getting to talk about these things. It's really interesting. Hopefully they're helping you and changing your life. Okay, so this is week two of 29 Days of Christmas. We have five through 11. Let's go. Good day, beautiful people. Here we are, 29 Days of Christmas with Candace. Here comes tip number five. Number five, comparison will kill you. Um, if you are walking around comparing yourself to other creators, to other people, to other women, you are literally killing your future and killing your joy. Let me tell y'all something. Social media is fake. I mean, wait, let's be real clear. I'm cute on and off camera on social media and like I'm funny on and off camera on social media and I'm happy in real life. But what I'm trying to tell y'all is ain't nobody showing y'all the practice. They're only showing y'all the games. They're showing y'all y'all highlight reels. So here you are looking at their highlight reel, how they have millions of subscribers, millions of followers, all this money, da 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 but they ain't telling you how at night they crying themselves to sleep. They not showing you how at night they're lonely. Babe, you compare yourself to something you know nothing about. Don't compare. Don't compete or compare. All right, that's tip number five. We'll be back with tip number six, baby. Good day, beautiful people. I'm back. It's 29 days of Christmas with me, Candace. Here comes tip number six. Tip number six, your value or your worth does not change because someone cannot see it. Let me put it like this. If I drop a nickel on the ground, it's still worth five cents. If I drop a penny on the ground, it's still worth one cent. Just because I dropped it on the ground or changed the location doesn't mean the worth changed. Just because he can't see how valuable you are does not mean you aren't worth it. Just because this job does not recognize your gifts and your talents don't mean your gifts and your talents are useless. Just because people cannot see how great you are does not mean you are not great period that doesn't mean they can't see they blind that's all that is you're still worth it whether they see it or not and don't you forget that okay that's tip number six we'll be back with tip number seven i love y'all peace beautiful people okay it's 29 days of christmas with me candace duh all right we're on tip number seven here we go tip number seven you have time let me say it again you have time this whole notion that you must be married at 30 and you have to have a big house by 35 and you need to have six figures in the bank. I don't know who told y'all that, but it's false, okay? And whether you get married at 25 or 35 does not matter. Whether you have six figures in the bank at 21 or at 31 does not matter. You're not in competition with anybody and you have time. Every single day that you get breath in your body means that you still have time. This whole rushing to get, chill out. You got time. You're not going to know what to do with your life at 31. Okay, I promise. We're still trying to figure it out. You have time to figure it out. Go with the pace. All right, that's tip number seven. We'll be back tomorrow. Peace. Day, beautiful people. 29 days of Christmas with Candace. Here comes tip number eight. Number eight. Ladies, listen up. Okay, fellas, you can listen too. We got to stop dating off potential, okay? So when we meet people, we're like, oh my God, he has the potential to be a great dad, a great man. I could just see us in the future. Sis, what we see right now. Based upon what we see right now, is he enough? Because if you're getting in this relationship to possibly change him, it's not going to work because men do not change for us. They have to change for themselves, okay? So based upon what he's showing you right now, is he good enough? Okay, because we're breaking our own hearts dating on potential. Stop dating for potential. Take this man for what he is. And if it's not good enough, leave. All right, that's tip number eight. We'll be back with tip number nine. Peace. People, people, I'm back. 29 days of Christmas with Candace, part nine. Lego. Tip number nine. It's pretty simple. Don't stop being you. Somebody gonna feel that. Don't change yourself. Don't try to make yourself be more funny. Don't try to make yourself look more different. Don't, uh -uh. Let me tell you something. Be you, baby. Be you because everybody else is taken. Be you. Somebody going to feel that. All right, that's tip number nine. We'll be back with tip number 10. What up, Peace. beautiful people? 29 days of Christmas with Candace. Here comes tip 10. Lego. Tip number 10. Now, ladies, you listen. Fellas, you do it if I'm right. Now, look, I keep seeing this meme that says, like, men are honest. They'll never come in and say what they want. They be lying. They don't know how to communicate. Um, Some men, not all men, but... 
men will actually tell you what they want the question is are you listening and don't listen for this like with the feel listen with your ears okay so if he says like you know i just don't know sis he ain't saying he afraid of commitment he really don't know so you can pack yourself and go if you'd like um or if he says like i don't know if i really want to do a relationship and then like he get in a relationship with somebody else the with you was silent okay that was a trick play um also men like to chase women that whole notion like we got to come uh-uh a lion is never chasing line men if he wants you he gonna come get you sis and that's just on period okay that's tip number 10 all right we'll be back tomorrow with tip number 11 Peace. okay so um i'm gonna talk about five six seven and nine together and then 10 and 11 will also go together so let's get right into it so comparison kills um so this started after i graduated from college um, after I graduated college in 2013, um, I moved from Winston-Salem, North Carolina to Florida with my parents um, because my mom basically said like, look, if you don't have a job and you don't have a plan, you're coming home. And so I came home and literally this is when I was like battling my depression. A lot of you guys have seen that video, um, the depression and suicide that I was battling. Like I just, I was unhappy. I felt like I was a failure. And let me tell y'all why I really thought I was a failure. I was I thought I was a failure not because anyone told me I had failed. I thought I was a failure because I was comparing myself to what I saw on Instagram. So when I graduated in 2013, I went back home and was living with my parents, okay? I was miserable. The only reason I was so miserable is because I was looking on Instagram and I was seeing people like with jobs. Um, most of my friends had went on to grad school. They had jobs, they were employed, they had dates. They was living their best life. They had apartments. Here I was at my parents' wonderful house that it was rent free. And I was like, I don't understand why I thought I was a failure. Low key, I had the upper hand. So I was comparing myself to what I saw on Instagram. Um, and so what I realized was I didn't even know I was doing it. Um, I just started comparing myself. And then the more I saw on Instagram, the more I felt inadequate, the more I felt like I wasn't worthy, the more I felt like, I, dang, I, I'm, I'm just a failure. Nobody had told me I was a failure, but I was sitting here comparing myself to someone's highlight reel. Here's the thing. Ain't nobody showing you every single moment of their day on social media. We're only highlighting the wins. I'm not showing you how many times, like when I, like when I work out, you know, everybody's starting to see like, oh, the results of my body but like you don't know how many times i wanted to quit and i was on this floor like man i just want to be skinny man bump this like or when i over ate you get what i'm saying so comparison kills it kills your joy it kills your hope like you just begin to feel inadequate but it's like you're, you're comparing yourself to somebody's 15 minute reel 15 minute highlight reel okay you're not seeing the cuts the director scenes like stop comparing yourself you're literally going to kill yourself comparing um the second one you have time okay so once again, this is right after college. Um, so after college, or like maybe before college, everyone, here's the thing. After high school, they ask you, what do you wanna do with your life? Okay, you have to have a plan, okay? You have to have a plan. And then after college, okay, what's your plan, okay? Um, and so here I am at 21, I've graduated from college. I'm thinking I have to rush my life because one, people have told me like, you gotta have a plan for your life, what are you gonna do? And I'm like, oh my God, okay, so, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to be married by 30. So I begin to rush myself on people's times tables, not my own. I don't know who told me that being married at 30 makes you, or 25 makes you more successful than being married at 30. I don't know who told you that like, I don't know where I got these notions from, but now that I'm matriculating into 29, I realize I have time. I have time to have kids. Like I really have time. Like my daughter said my A's look great. You know what I'm saying? Like I have time, I have time to, you know, make the six feet i have time like as long as my heart is beating i have time i don't know why the heck we allow people who barely got it together themselves to rush us into something or to tell us that hey you got to do it like this you got it's like girl for what i'm a rush and get all these things for what only to be miserable like i don't want to rush to an altar pick the wrong man and then be divorced two weeks later like half of y'all i ain't trying to do that you have time so like don't let people rush you um is what i've learned in this 29 years um, and I've learned it because my whole life, everyone asks like, well, what do you want to do? What do you want to be when you grow up? Like our whole life, even from childbirth, we, we rushing. At the age of five, they ask you what you want to be when you grow up. What if you don't know? I just want to grow up at this point. Um, so I had to realize I have time. Um, the next one, um, your value isn't determined by what people can see. Okay, so once again, um, graduated um and i was at a loss for the fact that i wasn't working for cnn 
I was at a loss for the fact that I didn't have no job. I was at a loss to figure out why I was so dope and dope things weren't happening for, happening for me. Let's just be really clear. Can I be really transparent with y'all? Okay, first of all, I'm a dope individual. I've been dope my whole life. People have told me like, yo, you gonna change the world. You gonna do all these different things. Okay, well, I'm trying to figure out when the heck that's supposed to happen because it's like, I'm dope, but people don't see that. But like, I felt like I was getting passed over for job opportunities. Like, I remember I applied, I put in so many applications when I graduated from college, so many applications, um, and got denied from all of them. I mean, you ever want to mess your self-esteem up? Keep applying for jobs. That thing will hit you real hard. So, I was applying for jobs, and also, like, I had this little situation ship going on. I just didn't realize, I didn't understand why he didn't want to be my man. Like, this was an upgrade for him because he was raggedy, but I digress. Um, so I was applying for jobs and like I just kept getting denied and denied and denied and denied and it started wearing on my confidence because I was like maybe I'm just not as good as I thought I was like even with the degree like maybe I'm maybe I'm not this dope individual and you know what I learned even as I get older because like um, there's been as I get older there's been times where um, you know guys be like you know you're a really great girl I'm, I'm just a good friend huh I um, mean I sometimes I would take those words and like put them on myself like dang what's really wrong with me but what you know what i realized they're lost like my value don't decrease or change because he can't see he's stupid and blind and now look 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 at stevie wonder and ray charles coming back over here uh, uh uh stay over there and so like i had to learn it's been a very hard lesson to learn that like baby you worth it they just can't see like you're worth it no matter how many job the job applications do not take you you're worth it no matter how many times your boss tells you like you're worth it they just can't see let them be blind baby eventually you gonna outshine them anyways and so that has been a hard lesson for me to learn um not to take like those things personal as like a reflection of who i am like taking loss so personal like dang i just really suck as a human being. No, no 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 you don't suck it's just they can't see may the lord open their eyes that's how i feel Okay, so tip eight and 10. Oh no, I'm sorry, excuse me. Let's do tip nine, don't stop being you. Okay, so after college, um, the job, not getting the CNN, you know, da 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 um, There was a lady, uh, I told her I wanted to be on TV and my mom and my mom actually connected us. She was working for Bounce TV, you know what Bounce is? Okay, so she had just got on at Bounce and she asked me what I wanted to do and I told her I wanted to be like E! News or whatever. Um, and she was saying, okay, so you need a talent. She was like, you need a talent person because we're not talent she was and I was like okay cool and she was like and you're also gonna have to lose weight and you're also gonna have to do this and you're not gonna and, and it was like a whole list of everything I had needed to be in order to be on tv and I was just like dang I gotta change my whole self to be on tv like you can't be too loud um you can't do this you can't do that um your body probably won't be the best and so what I realized in these 29 years is uh girl you better don't stop being you somebody gonna feel that um I'm not going to change my whole entire self for the sake of an image because here's the thing. I've seen huge people get on TV and kill it. I've seen huge people get Grammys and like Lizzo is bodacious and she's killing the game. I've seen people be loud and be every single thing that they are and it's accepting. Like I'm not going to change myself because I want to fit in. Like, don't stop being you. Somebody gonna feel that. Like, this corner is y'all feeling that. Like, okay, so maybe I, maybe maybe that TV way didn't work out. Maybe that way I thought I was gonna get on TV didn't work out. But here I am. You see me on your TV. Ain't that crazy? Some of y'all watch it on TV. Boom, there it is. Um, and I didn't have to change any single part of myself to be that. So, I realized, don't stop being you, Candace, because somebody's gonna feel it. And everything that you are, somebody needs. Um, and that's just on period. Like, and I can't, and I, I don't want to say like, I can't wait to be on TV so I can tell people like, I proved you wrong. But when I get on TV and somebody asks me how, or what, I, what lesson I would tell them, I would tell them to stop, don't stop being them. Like, be you. Everybody's taking anyways, be you. Like, this works for me because I get to be my true authentic self. I'm not trying to hide myself from anybody. Like, be you, baby. Be you, they gonna feel it eventually. I'm not changing my hair. Like the only reason I lost weight is because I wanna be healthy. I didn't lose weight because she told me to. I didn't dumb down my personality because she said, no, 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 no. I actually upped it. I became a little bit more extra. Razzle dazzle for me. Um, So don't stop being you, y'all, don't. Not for no networks, not for no people. Don't stop being you, period. All right, last two. Cause I think I got them all out of order, but y'all know what I meant. Um, <laughs> Don't date off potential and listen to what men tell you. Now this is kind of funny. Um, so y'all know me and this men department really suck. Super ghetto wouldn't recommend. Um, <laughs> I 
don't know what be going on um but you know what? i do know um so i have this natural like aura about myself where i just see the good in people and i love hard i'm a lo i love people so hard screw ups are my favorite type of people and so i was talking to this guy and you know he just needed somebody to love him you know what i'm saying and i knew he was smart i knew he had dreams and aspirations and i was like you know what he has the potential to be a really really dope man okay um when i met him he was raggedy uh <laughs> he, he was raggedy okay he was not pushing himself he wasn't trying but i was just like you know what he has the potential to be great i can i see what you're gonna be and that's the thing i, I can just look at you and be like yo you got talent but here's the thing if you don't ever operate in your talent it don't matter what i see it don't matter what i see if you don't operate in your talent um and so he was lazy and i dated him with the potential of him being great but he never became great and i don't know where he is now i think he's still in the same place i left him honestly so i realized to myself stop dating off potential like is what he is right here enough for you if not it's okay to leave um and so for me i take people for what they are specifically men that whole like this is what i want to be you know what i'm saying uh, 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 mm -mm. what are you now because what if you never make it am i okay with loving you the way you are probably not so there's that and lastly listen to what men tell you okay so um this 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 line I get a lot. Um, Candace, you're such a dope girl. Um, I just don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I can be what you need me to be. And then the next week they're in a whole relationship and I'm distraught and I'm self-reflecting and I'm like, dang, what's wrong with me? And you know what I realized? The with me was silent. Like they like me, I'm cool, but they ain't wanna be in a relationship with me. They wanna be with somebody else and that's okay. Um, but this whole notion that like men are honest, nah, they honest, you just gotta listen to what they are saying. Um, I, I can't tell you how many times a man has told me specifically what it was and I heard like, oh, he's scared of commitment. Girl, no, he ain't scared of no commitment. He don't wanna commit to you. That's what that is. And so at 29 years old, it took me a long while to learn this. Um, let that man say what he gonna say and you listen with your ears don't don't try to over communicate and say he's just de no 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 no. he said no he said he didn't want to be with you and so the fact that he's still here hanging out with you just mean he like your company but he said he didn't want to be with you do with the information what you will allow um that's just the reality of it i mean men are wonderful people but i mean sis you gotta listen we be breaking our own heart because we be dating off potential and we don't listen and so i have learned in 29 years to save myself some heartbreak by listening to what he says and realizing who he is right in front of me whatever do i like it probably not and i'm also single so you know whatever do your thing so anyways those are this week's tips 29 days of christmas week two we'll be back with week three and week four i love y'all so much i can't wait for you guys to see what's coming up this week merry christmas everybody peace